All right, so today we have seven nation armies and task number 14 example attack, which is part from Burp Suit the Basics. Having a look at how to set up and configure our proxy, let's go through a simplified real world example. Before we go further, we configured proxy manually and automatically. Foxy proxy automatic and manual with, with the settings, network settings from Firefox. For that, just watch my previous videos. Uh, to make it simple, I have playlists for the entire videos and playlists for the questions on every Try Hack Me Room that we do and we plan to do every one. We will start by taking a look at the support from the... Yeah, so we have the support ticket from the machine IP and the ticket. Here is the example. In a real world web app pen test, we would test this for a variety of things. One of which would be cross-site scripting or XSS for short. If you have not yet encountered XSS, it can be thought of as injecting a client-side script, usually a JavaScript into a web page in such a way that it executes. There are various kinds of XSS. The type that we are using here is referring to as reflected X X X XSS. Reflected XSS. It's like Professor X. Reflected Professor X. As it is only as it only affects the person making the web request. Reflected XSS. Basically, we see that in response. Uh, great resource to learn anything that deals with security vulnerabilities on the web for Swigger Academy. And here we have a ton of learning paths, latest topics, all content, basically the labs, which is the, the, the very practical and very, very, very good source of information. And we also get, have certificaciones. I will plan to take this certification and I will talk about it after I get it. If we go to all content, all topics, here we see server side topics, client side topics, advanced topics. And here we see further information with that we don't care. We go under client side topics, cross site scripting. We go to the topic and we can learn everything about cross site scripting. If we go to reflected this is XSS, we can see here. Reflected cross-site scripting, or XSS, arises when an application receives data in an HTTP request and includes the data within the immediate response in an unsafe way. And here basically we see an example. We see the HTTP request for an insecure website that searches gifts, right? We have, I don't know, a website that sells things. Here we search for gift. We access the page with gifts. Then application echoes the supply search term in the response of this URL, right? So in the URL, we see this. You search for gifts. Assuming the application doesn't perform any other processing of the data, an attacker can construct an attack like this, right? So we create our query. We search not for gift, but we search for a payload, right? We insert the payload in the search uh, field. The URL result is the following response. You search for, and here we see the reflected script that we inserted. This way we uh, are approved that the website is vulnerable to reflected XSS. Okay, cool. So Portswigger Academy and Contents Labs, it's uh, is the perfect Perfect location to learn anything about web vulnerabilities. Try typing script alert. This is basically the simplest form of uh, payload that we can try for XSS. We just uh, create a JavaScript script Aler alert, right? Into the content, right? So this payload we inserted in the support contact email. And then we submit a query. Fortunately for us, client-side filters are absurdly easy to bypass. There are a variety of ways we could disable the script or just prevent it from loading in the first place. Let's focus on simply bypassing the filter for now. First, make sure that your burp proxy is active and the intercept is on. Now enter some legitimate data into the support form. For example, pen tester example as an email address and test attack as a query. Submit so the form, the request should be intercepted by the proxy. 
with the request captured in the proxy, we can now change the email field to be our very first simple payload from the above. After passing the after passing in the payload, we need to select it, the URL encode it with the control U shortcut to make it safe to send. This process is shown in the GIF below, right? So this is our test to see what we uh, how the response is we basically see here that is just <laughs> clear text and we can just try inserting there our payload and then submit the query finally press the forward button to send the request you should find the alert box from the site indicating a successful xss attack okay let's try okay now we go up here we copy this url that was provided we paste it here and we see the support page for the contact email. We just write drone at week.com. Let's go. Right. And now we go foxy proxy, activate the burp proxy. We go inside burp, activate it here and we go again in Firefox and submit the query. Now, if we check, as you can see over here, we can see the response. We can see the post, right? This is our request. We can actually see over here the input that we just uh, did, right? We forward that, forward that. We check again Firefox. Query is submitted. All right. We say here, John Wick. And here we say again, test. Test, submit query. We go here. We forward this and here in the email, we paste this. Now we select this entire payload, control U to URL encrypt. And now let's forward this to see what happens. If we check Firefox, we can see our successful XSS. Cool.